Hey guys, just before we get into today's video, I wanted to let you know about one of my YouTube friends, uh, Kyle McClure527. We make a lot of videos together, and at the moment he's going to be doing a GTA 5 speedrun on Twitch. Uh, so I just wanted to show you guys his YouTube channel right here. He makes loads of awesome content. Um, he's going to be posting a video soon, I think, uh, announcing his speedrun. So if that's something that you're interested in watching, then definitely go and check out his channel. I'll leave a link in the description below. But with that said, let's get on with the video. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm4975 and today we are continuing our SnowRunner Let's Play series. If you haven't seen the previous episode, then I will link a playlist down below to all the SnowRunner episodes I've made so far. But the last episode was really fun. We took the international load start back to Russia. We went and explored the Rift map. It was a lot of fun, and I have to say that vehicle is absolutely awesome. Um, but if you guys remember a couple of episodes ago, I took the Pacific P-16 to Alaska and we towed one of the massive semi trailers in the game and that was a lot of fun you guys really seem to enjoy that video so I thought we'd do it again today but we're not going to be using the Pacific P16 instead we're going to be using the Pacific P12 and here it is it's an absolute beast uh, we're gonna customize the thing in a moment uh, but let me just show you the mission that we're gonna be undertaking today so we are going to be traveling back to Michigan today and we're actually going to be traveling to the Pacific P-16's um, home territory if you will because I have one mission left to accomplish in Michigan. You can see I've completed all the missions, all of these are done except this one here. Um, there's a bunch of things that we have to go and do, but the first thing that we do have to do for this mission is tow a massive semi-trailer, which is here at the port. It is a massive construction semi-trailer, and we have to take it to Smithsville Dam. And then, when we get to Smithsville Dam, we have to deliver it here to the drilling site. So, it's mainly on-road. Um, in Drummond Island and in Smithsville Dam until we get to here and then we have to somehow get this massive trailer to the drilling site. So hopefully it shouldn't be too difficult but first let's go ahead and customize the Pacific P12. Okay so like with all of the vehicles um, that we customize in this Let's Play series I first went out and unlocked all of the upgrade options that I could and there are a couple of different upgrade options for this thing um, it is a little bit more customizable than the Pacific P16 I do have to say uh, so engines there are three engines that you can put in this thing and I've not bothered unlocking this one because I don't see any point but we can go ahead and put the Westline V12 in this thing you can see the power to weight is A- minus. Durability is A and fuel consumption is C uh, But honestly, I'm not too bothered about that because this thing has a 350 litre fuel tank, so I don't think we're gonna have any issues with running out of fuel uh, The gearbox I have now unlocked the advanced special gearbox um, So we're gonna put that in the thing the suspension Unfortunately, we can't raise the suspension, but I haven't really had any issues with the Pacific P16, so I'm feeling like I don't think we're going to have any issues with this thing. In the tyres, there are actually a few um, options that we can have here, all the usual tyres, um, but obviously we want to go ahead and put the mud tyres on, which are these bad boys right here so we'll throw them on the thing the winch um, I haven't actually unlocked the advanced heavy because you have to reach rank 20 so unfortunately I couldn't unlock that um, but we can have the extended heavy so we'll go ahead and put that in the thing 
The spare wheel, you can actually get this crazy like looking spare wheel, which I can't really show you very easily. It's up there. Um, you can see it just adds it on up there. We'll go ahead and throw that on the thing. Frame add-ons. There are actually some frame add-ons for this thing. Not as many as you might think, but uh, you can get the crane on this thing. You can get a massive maintenance add-on, which looks really long and kind of weird. You can get the fuel tank on the back, or you can have the saddle high, which is what we're going to need for pulling the semi-trailer. Then in visual stuff, there is a few options we can do. We can actually change up the exhaust, which is usually a, um, a side pipe. You can have the wedge cap exhaust. You can have the heat uh, uh, sorry, the w side welded, you can have the heat shielded, or you can have the stock, which you see just goes down and out of the bottom. I'm going to go for the heat shielded, because I think that looks pretty cool. In miscellaneous, you can have a cabin protector, but that does get rid of your spare wheels, so that's something to bear in mind, so I'm not going to do that. You can have external horns, you can have twin external horns, but that's locked until rank 17 you can just have a single external horn you can have beacons and fog lights or you can have the fog lights um you guys know i love fog lights but i'm actually not going to put it on this thing it is locked as well so that's something to bear in mind but i'm just going to go ahead and put the external horns on this thing the front bumper there is nothing you can change on the front bumper and obviously because we've put these rims on it, um, there's only two options you can get. You can have these like heavy duty looking ones or these ones. I actually like the ones that it comes with. They just look a little bit better. So we will leave those on there. And then in the paint options, you can have this yellow, black and white. You can have orange and black you can have a red and white and black i think as well um, but mainly red and white you can have the light green and dark green like you can on the pacific p16 you can have the dark blue and white or you can have the green and yellow like on the pacific p16 so today i'm feeling like the red and white um correct me if i'm wrong but i don't think we've done any um red builds so far so i'm gonna go ahead and go with the red and that is the thing fully customized it is a bit of a beast it's not quite as big as the pacific p16 but it is equally as powerful okay we are outside in smithsville dam for the first time obviously we can't fast travel straight to drummond island so we do have to go from smithsville dam um i have to say this thing looks a little bit strange the pacific p16 is like really wide this thing is like really skinny and really long as well it's kind of a strange looking truck but it is actually really cool and this thing does have engageable all-wheel drive as well which is going to be very useful um, especially for the latter part of this video when we have to take that massive trailer off-road um, but unfortunately this thing doesn't have a very good horn it's better than some of the trucks in the game but it is nowhere near as good as the pacific p16 so a little bit disappointing there but this thing is still a beast and i think it's going to be more than capable of today's task okay we're just approaching the drummond island uh gateway now and i just wanted to sort of discuss a few things about the truck that i've discovered on my drive up here um it's not the fastest truck in the world, I'm not going to lie. I mean, it's not designed exactly for speed, uh, but it is a tad slow. And here we are, back in Drummond Island again. It's absolutely awesome map. I do really like the Drummond Island map. I mentioned it a couple of times in the video we did on Drummond Island. But anyway, um, we are up here currently. 
and we need to get to the trailer which is parked just there so it's a little bit of a trek but it is mostly on road um, we just have to go across here I have built this bridge so we can cross over here and then it is just a straight line to the trailer okay we have just arrived at the port and over there yes that is not a house that is a trailer this is the trailer in question it's not quite as big as the trailer we did with the pacific p16 but as far as this game goes it is one of the larger trailers that you can tow in this game so in the pacific p16 episode we did have to get that massive trailer into the port this time we have to get this trailer out of the port so hopefully it's not going to be too much of a challenge it does have a bit of an overhang on the left side there um, but we'll just give it a go and see what happens so we'll attach that to there um, I do actually need to go ahead and just accept the mission so we'll just activate that and we now need to just take this to Smithsville Dam so let's see if we can first get this out of the port it is quite wide um, the trailer with the P16 was quite a thin trailer it was just very long uh, this thing is considerably wider than that trailer so I don't know how it's gonna fare I mean it's designed to come out of this port because um, it wouldn't be parked here if it was impossible to get it out so I mean hopefully we should be able to get it out it doesn't look too bad how we're we looking in front we can actually just go straight we didn't scrape anything that was quite a bit of impressive driving there um, so we basically just have to retrace our steps now sorry um, we have to go back to uh, Smithsville Dam with this thing and then we have to take it to the drilling site so I'll see you when we get back to Smithsville Dam uh, back in Smithsville Dam um, it wasn't actually that bad of a route um, nothing exciting happened I am glad that we have got all-wheel drive on this thing though because the road wasn't that bad but that trailer weighs an absolute bomb so um, there's a couple of times that the all-wheel drive did come in useful so I can definitely recommend the Pacific P12 if you are attempting this mission uh, but we are now back in Smithsville Dam so all we have to do now I say all we have to do uh, we have to get this thing to the drilling site so we're up here um, near the Drummond Island gateway it's a little bit of a twisty road but it is mainly on road then we cross the dam um, and then we have to try and get this thing to the drilling site so I don't know where the what the uh, best route to take is uh, but I guess we'll figure that out when we uh, when we get down there so something that you have to be kind of mindful of with this trailer you can see on the left hand side there it's a lot wider than the trailer so when you're going sort of through a um, through a passageway you do actually have to keep that in mind you you've got to keep to the left hand side a little bit because that right hand side there does stick out a little bit I'm just looking as well we've used about half a tank driving there and more basically to where we are now um, it's not too bad the Westline V12 engine it's not using as much fuel as it sort of shows um, it's it's been a pretty good a pretty good engine so far it's been more than powerful enough and um, it doesn't actually drink that much fuel so that's something that's quite nice so every time we do one of these sort of episodes um, I try and review the truck that we are driving in that episode just give like a short pros and cons list of the truck 
and I have to say this thing is a, a pretty good truck um, it's got all-wheel drive it's got diff locks which is very useful um, the horn sadly is not that great uh, not that that's that important but um, the Pacific P16 has an amazing horn um, the advanced special gearbox in this thing is actually very useful so if you are driving this thing I would recommend going and finding that upgrade um, it does give you a high range and a low range high and low which is very useful um, it's not the fastest truck in the world I will say that so um, if you want a truck for speed then I wouldn't recommend the P12 um, also this is a little bit dodgy I hate these wooden bridges they're a little bit um, slippery we have managed to get it on there now uh, but yeah the Pacific P12 is definitely a good truck I can recommend it to you guys um, if you're starting out in the game and you've got a bit, in, a bit of money and you can afford this thing I would definitely recommend it it has a few add-ons as you saw earlier it can pull semi trailers it's very strong and um, I think it looks pretty cool as well okay we are just coming across the dam now um, I have mapped out a little bit of a route that we're gonna take I'll show you that in just a moment um, it's been pretty uneventful I'm not gonna lie it's just a twisty road I've kinda got used to the trailer um, it's not that bad I don't know how we're gonna fare with this corner here so the way that I've been taking corners is just get it as wide as possible and then that was a little bit shit I'm not gonna lie um, yeah just try and go as wide as possible keep wide keep wide I think we are gonna struggle a little bit we're just gonna yeah we're just gonna rub on that inside corner but I mean we have made it round there I don't know how else you would get it round there I don't think you can actually get it round there smoothly so um, yeah um, I'm gonna head to the farm at the moment that is the route we're going to be taking uh, but just before we get to there I need to fill this thing up with some fuel because we are running a little bit low okay so this is where we're going to be turning down um, I'll just show you the route that I've kind of mapped out here uh, we're going to turn right down here go through the farm and then this sort of road here uh, looks quite wide um, there are a few like smaller littler roads which would get us there a lot quicker but I don't know whether we're gonna fit this trailer down them so this road looks pretty wide hopefully the terrain is not too bad and the drilling site is just there but before we do that I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this thing up right let's see if we can get this load down that road that is going to be our motto for today's trucking we have got mud tires on the p12 um so hopefully we should be able to cope with this we have also got all-wheel drive as i mentioned but that trailer does weigh quite a lot so hopefully that should actually give us a bit of traction um seems to be doing okay so far I'm trying to hop from these like islands just because I know there will be some traction there whereas in the water there's less traction generally little off-roading tip for you there the farm is also not that nice it is quite boggy in the farm so I mean we'll see how it deals with that it has dealt with that pond area okay so I have faith right so this is the farm we're driving through now if the camera would just stop being a pain uh, we basically just have to drive straight through the farm and it is quite a narrow road up here but it is the widest road that I can find so hopefully it'll be wide enough for our trailer I feel like it's designed to be wide enough for this trailer because this mission 
this is like the road you would take this trailer on for this mission there's no other way you can take this trailer so hopefully it is going to be wide enough hopefully we have the traction to get up here yeah so if this road doesn't get any narrower than this i feel like it'll be okay um it's more the actual terrain i'm worried about hopefully um the p12 can actually pull this thing what is what are we stuck on we're stuck on something um, let's go for a reverse i'll keep to this side a little bit more hopefully i think it was just caught on a tree it appears so um, yeah, I'm, I'm a bit more concerned about the terrain. Um, if it gets like really boggy, we might have an issue. I mean, it did get through that bog just before the farm, so hopefully it should be okay. We do have a winch um, that I haven't actually had to use yet. So, um, yeah, the Pacific P12 is definitely a good truck. If you don't have to use a winch, then you know you're driving a good truck. Right, so we just have to turn left here. Um, this is not the drilling site, in case you're wondering. Um, it's a little bit further yet, but we are almost there. Um, hopefully this road doesn't get too narrow. It does seem like it gets... Oh, I was going to say it does seem like it gets a bit wider here, but that looks like a lot of trees ahead if the camera would stop moving around. So for those of you who are sat at home watching this video and basically thinking that I'm making this look easy, it really is not very easy. If you take your eye off the screen for one second, you'll end up crashing into something. You've, you've got to constantly be wary of the width of this thing. Um, that is the main issue. But it is actually quite a low trailer as well. So I've bottomed out a couple of times. Um, it has managed to pull it free again. But um, bottoming out in this trailer is a bit of a concern as well. So like big rocks you find in the middle of the road sometimes. You've got to be careful of those. Because you will get it stuck on them. But the P12 is still chugging along. Right. Here we go, we're going to deliver it to here, and I think it is actually going to construct the oil rig as well. So when I get to there, yep, there we go, it does construct the, oh we can't actually see it like that, but if we turn around, you can see there we've basically created the base of the oil rig. Um, we do now have to go and get a few more things to basically fully build it. So we do need two metal beams and an oil rig um, to completely construct the thing. But that is going to do it for today's episode. In the next episode, we will be completing this task. We're going to go ahead and finish the oil rig. So if you want to watch that, then please consider subscribing to the channel to keep up to date. And if you haven't watched any of the previous episodes, then I will link the pl SnowRunner playlist down below. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next episode.